AI is everywhere and of course it can help you with your Pinterest marketing. In order to see success on Pinterest, you need to be creating fresh content regularly. And that is exactly where AI can really help you. So let's pop over to ChatGPT and I'll show you four different ways how AI can really help you with your Pinterest marketing. So the first one is in your pin titles. When you create a pin on Pinterest, you need to make sure that you fill out all the information that Pinterest is asking for. And the first thing is the title of your pin. So let's imagine we're creating a pin for our traveler's guide to exploring Mexico City. Your first pin that you post for this blog post would probably just be the title of the blog post. But then, if you want to create several pins for the same content, you need to mix it up. And that is where AI and ChatGPT can help you. So the first prompt that we will give ChatGPT is act as a Pinterest marketing specialist and to suggest 10 new pin titles based on this original title, a traveler's guide to exploring Mexico City. Now, immediately you will get other title suggestions that you can use on your pins. Now you can simply copy paste these titles onto each one of your pins if you are doing it manually. But let me show you a way faster way to do this. Let's hop on over to pin generator. And as you can see, I already generated 12 different pins for this content. And from here, what I can do is I can go into our AI options and I can simply ask to rewrite all the titles with AI. So no need to copy paste, no need to go over to ChatGPT and all of that kind of stuff. We can simply hit the button. And as you can see now, all of the pins have a unique title. And when you open this, it's not just on the image. It's also the, the title that will be used to schedule on Pinterest. So that's it, all the work done, easy. The second way that AI can help you with your Pinterest marketing is in writing the descriptions for the pin. Now, normally you have to like choose each time what the description is and it's pretty hard if you have to create tens of pins for the same content, right? But luckily ChatGPT can help us with that. So let's pop in a new prompt. And we're simply going to ask it to write a new variation of a description that we have already written. Now again, you can simply copy paste this onto Pinterest and you will have a unique pin right there and then. Or you can go into pin generator and let's select one of these pins here. And now we can decide to rewrite the description here, which is the meta description that was taken automatically from the URL with AI. And that's it. Let's save. And now we have a completely unique pin. Next up is images. ChatGPT now has the possibility to generate images. And as you know, Pinterest is a visual platform. So generating images with AI will allow you to have different visuals for your content. Now let's ask Dali to create an image for us. Now, if we are happy with this image, we can simply save it to our computer. And then you can use your favorite image creation tool to add this to your pin. Let me show you how you can do this here in pin generator. So simply in images, let's upload an image, select our image here, and then we can drag and drop this image onto a pin that we want. That's it. Now we have a unique pin with an AI generated image. But let's be honest, it can be a bit of a hit and miss to create good images with AI if that is not your interest. So one of the options that you have in Pin Generator is also to use stock images. So in this case, let's add a stock image. Let's maybe search for Mexico City. And from here, we can simply drag and drop a stock image to create a fully unique pin. Now, lastly, the fourth thing that AI can help you with is with keyword research. And not in the traditional way, but we are going to ask ChatGPT a very specific question. We're going to ask it 10 search queries that people would use in order to come to this content. And from here, this will give us some ideas of keywords that we might want to target on Pinterest. So let's pop on over to Pinterest. And for example, we have travel tips, we have itinerary ideas, um, we have 
eating out in a city or affordable activities. So let's have a look on Pinterest itself whether these queries are used. So when we go over to Pinterest and we started with our travel guides to Mexico and now we found that maybe itinerary is a good keyword, we can see that Mexico City itinerary seven days, three days, four days, two days are all keywords that people are looking for on Pinterest and so these might be good keywords to use in our description, in our title, if it fits for the content. What do you think? Are you going to use AI in your Pinterest marketing? Let me know in the comments below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you want more Pinterest marketing advice.